Hi, it's Bobby with Office Tracker. Today we're going to go over your Office Tracker Contact Manager. Your Contact Manager lets you share and schedule your customers and other contacts company wide in a great address book format. In order to access the Contact Manager, you click on the Contacts icon at the top of your screen. From here, you will see all of the contacts that I currently have set up in my Contact Manager. You have several icons across the top that are useful. You can create a new contact by clicking here and filling in the information. You can create a new event directly from the contact manager. You can delete contacts. You can do a find in order to find a specific person or a group of people. This button is the different view that you're looking at. This is the record only view. If you click on it, it changes to a different view, the list only view, list and record. If you click on the schedule button, it's going to toggle you between your Office Tracker schedule. Click on the contacts to go back to the contacts. Previous, first, and next buttons just allow you to toggle through your contacts. If I click next, it's just going to go to the next one in alphabetical order. First brings you to the top of your list. Once you have a contact up, you'll notice on the main tab, these are the standard fields that Office Tracker comes set up with. It allows you to fill in the contact information for that contact. The notes field allows you to type in anything that you need to know about that particular contact. You can set up custom categories to help you keep your stuff in order. If you click on details, these are customizable fields that you can change in the Office Tracker server. There are 10 fields here that you can customize. I have this set up as a doctor's office, so I created fields that would reflect that. If you notice down here at the bottom, the linked events, these are any events that this contact has set up in the Office Tracker schedule. If I click on one, it will open up that event where I could make changes to it or delete it directly from there. I'm going to hit cancel and it takes me back to my schedule. If I wanted to go back to the contacts, just hit contacts again. You can create an event directly from the contact manager as well. It will create an event for the contact that you currently have up on your screen. Right now I have Mike Waters up on my screen. If I select new event, it's going to bring up a new event. If you click on the contacts button, you'll notice that this person is already selected as being linked to this event. Select the people that you want to include. I'm going to set him up an appointment with Dr. Blue in exam room 4. And we're going to set it up for the 13th at 4 o'clock. If we go back to the details, you will notice that there is the appointment we just made. Click on it and it will take you to the event where you can make your changes or delete. You can also set up an event for your contact, of course, directly from the Office Tracker schedule. Click on an open time slot. Click the contact icon. Select the contact that you want to add. Say OK. We're going to schedule the room we need it to be in. We're going to schedule him a physical. There it is on the schedule. When using the Office Tracker web client, you have the ability to add additional contacts to an existing event. Click on the event, open your Office Tracker contact manager, hold down the shift key, and click on the contact you want to add. It will automatically add that person to the event. So it's got both people on here now. When using the Office Tracker desktop client, you also have the ability to drag and drop your contacts directly from the contact manager into the schedule. Simply click on a name and drag it and drop it into an open time slot and you can create the event directly from there. Next, let's look at how to set up the custom fields in your server. Once you're logged into your Office Tracker server, click on Contact Manager. You'll notice there are several different options here for customizing your Contact Manager. Under Categories, you can click on Show Categories. These are the categories I currently have set up for my example. If you needed to add a new category, you just click Add Category, type it in, and click the button. This is the custom fields. You have 10 different custom fields that you can set up for your company. 
enter in the information, and click Save Changes. You have the option to change ownership of contacts, import contacts from a spreadsheet. You can delete contacts. You can delete them by range, by owner, or by category. That's about it for the Contact Manager. Happy scheduling!